I'm out here at uh, Borax Lake in East Oregon. Um, I'm going to collect some samples from this lake. This is uh, sort of neutral pH, but high arsenic and boron and a number of other interesting salts. Really cool salt pans all over the place. That's how I got here. Um, so I've set up a little bit of stuff here to collect some samples, and uh, I'm going to start with the water samples since they're the most difficult. So. Alright, so now we put the cap on. Caps are in here. go. Ah. Hose is pointed the wrong way. I've got everything more or less set up here. I've got my bicycle pump hooked up to the airline, and I've got the filter hooked up like that. I have a waste line here, which I'm just going to put into this little salt pan. So, let's pump it up. This would be really nice if uh, they had some help, but they don't. You just gonna have to watch what's going on through the weeds. Flowing. And now the water's flowing. Alright, hopefully going. backwash of the airline, so I think I'm just going to take all of my samples from the same site and they will just be replicates of the same site. Oh well. Actually wait, no, I have a second airline. That's good. Rest running. Show you close up. There it is. A little bit of outflow. There we go. It's like a borax lake. Uh, basically done sampling. I have four uh, raw samples of water. Uh, three Sterevex filters, 15 sediment samples, and uh, a number of raw sediment samples. So I've just taken some samples from this uh, cool little hot spring that I found here at Borax Lake. You can see it's steaming a little bit in the afternoon sun. And uh, Got some nice crusty stuff over there, which I've sampled too. Collected a lot of cool things. Anyway, it's getting dark, so I better go. Just in case anybody uh, is curious, um, it actually is possible to sort of uh, go off-road in a Toyota Yaris hatchback. Um, you know, it's probably not the best vehicle to do this in, but uh, as long as there's no mud, it works. One important thing though, if you're going to uh, go off-roading in a small compact car, um, use a manual transmission and keep it in second gear like you're in snow, otherwise uh, 
um, you'll spin your tires and it, um, that's not a good idea. Check this out. Paved road. I'm really excited about this after all. the last hour of driving on washboard bumps. 